part that one was my puppet part, which was the extended video moment and the two blocks away, that was my only part that I knew. Um, and then from there, I moved to Watts in Canada, currently living on State Theory. Um, and it was kind of hard to once going from that environment to, the, um, to Watts because the first day I actually stepped in, that's when people started judging me on just my whole background of being Mexican. And, and, um, and it was kind of hard to see uh, myself actually growing as an individual. Um, when I went to school, to be honest, I didn't think that would be my choice because how people basically labeled me as. Um, every day seems to be a struggle on either getting to school without any problems or watching my back at night. I, um, the only time I felt actually committed was when I joined my volleyball team and Florida football, my ninth grade year. That's when I felt like I, I was stuck in Florida. Um, but since then, when I started going, going to my uh, 11, 10th group, my 10th, 11th, 12th grade year, um, that's when I was like, what am I going to do with my life? People are criticizing me on being Mexican. I'm not either two things. Go to jail or die. That's how they labeled us. Um, so yeah, it was kind of hard. Um, my senior year in high school, I wish I could say it was great. Um, I really got problems with uh, financially and uh, I basically kind of brought my parents out to work. Um, my last semester in my senior year, I ended up dropping out because <coughs> of uh, I thought that was going to be a dad, so that was a big step for me, not knowing where I was going to go, especially now. Um, but actually, the first day my son was born, that's when I said I have to change my life, not for myself, but for him. So I got into LACC, which is Los Angeles Conservation Authority, and from there, that's when my whole criteria, my whole mindset changed on being this this, how people call me, a low life Mexican, to think, you know what, you can come wherever, but I know where I'm going to be in life. And from the from LACC, I've been working in fields, I, did, I was doing that um, for a year and a half, which was construction. Um, and then I never knew that would be something I wanted to do. Um, and then the other year, the other six months, they transferred me to East LA site, which was um, climbing trees. I was first by the way, climbing trees, doing community gardens for different areas. Uh, went to Lancaster, did some um, community gardens there. Felt honored to do that. And other than then, it was, ever since then, it's been a whole new mindset for me. And when I've been separated from the core, I was back and forth from my house job, which I didn't see myself going anywhere. And funny story, I got in. Um, what was going to be talking about MRTA. They, uh, my old supervisor called me, she's like, the MRTA has an opening. And I was like, what do they do? They work outdoors, they educate children, they they go to different places and do wonderful things. I was like, I'm in. <laughs> I didn't say how much it feels. I don't care, they're outdoors, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and and she, the first day she told me, and the day I went, she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. I was like, if it means I'm going to be outdoors doing what I love to do, I'm with it, 100%, I'm born for it. And to say the interview went great. In my mind, I was like, oh, I don't think I did good. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I was, I say positive. And ever since day, day one, uh, when I stepped in that, uh, that room, I didn't feel unwanted. I felt like I was given that voice. And it's like how, Edgar said, I didn't just, we didn't just grow as individuals, but we grew as a family. So it's like, I want to thank Amy, I want to thank everybody else from the MRTA that's been um, showing us, and even from different agencies. We had uh, state parks and national parks as well coming in and showing us some of the things they do and giving us a little bit less of time as well. Little stories on what they do, what they enjoy to do, and same thing as me. So it's like, um, to have this program is a blessing, not only for myself, but I see myself, my son, going to a future program as this, and I'll encourage him to go. Also, the best experience for me was camping. I haven't gone camping since my fifth grade year, so pretty long. So doing that was a big, Maybe we can 
thanks so much, Alton. I, uh, like I said, I never had the luxury of going to Big Park. And being part of the MRCA, being part of the Bridge to Park career, my mind has been mind blown. <laughs> on the parts that I've been to, um, like at Ramirez Canyon, um, Zuma Beach, um, most of the parts where you see big houses that we, people like myself see, is like, oh, we're not wanted. And thanks to them, they're showing me that places like these are wanted for ourselves, you know, not only for ourselves, but for people from my neighborhood that I would love to do to show them. And hopefully, today, whichever agency I end up with, I would love to do programs for my, my home community, get them more involved on thinking outside the box instead of thinking like I did when they were telling me what I was going to end up being. So this program has been very, very <laughs> it's very, it has changed me so much, not only as, as an individual, but as a father. Um, and even in my parents' eyes, every time I come home and tell them the things I do, they feel happy for me. They, um, they sometimes want to cry. So it's like, so yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but this, this program, hopefully, if, if there's more as of, as, as of this one, I would love to support it, no matter where I end up at, because this this is my stepping stone, and I would still want to keep it going. Um, thank you. Thank you for